Welcome back to Mediocre Gamers, I'm Crimson, and we're running through our subnautical let's play. Now, I did some changing, I've added a lot more storage up here, labeled them as well as I could. Um, put our equipment here. Still the same up here, just going to show you quickly around the base. have our scanning room still functional I have it set to scan fragments which I pretty much have cleared this area out of in fact I'm gonna turn that off so that way maybe it won't use up as much power and that also brings me to the power room let's go take a look at that real quick add in some these blood blood oil seems to be pretty pretty good gives us a good amount of power uh, this is my room which is obviously very sparse at the moment but hopefully not for too long it's beautiful And then we have this room, which will be like a modifications room. Although I'm thinking about just taking this one off, since I don't think I really need it. Yeah. You know what? Let's do that. Um, dum -dum. Oh, we'll see if we got some glass. If we don't, we'll go hunt down some glass real quick. We don't. We got one quartz. Okay. Let's go get some glass real quick. Actually, be plenty of quartz down here on the ocean floor. I don't need much, just a couple. Passing 100 meters. One more. Oxygen efficiency decreased. There we go. I know I saw it. Where did it go? There it is. Take the creature egg. What you do with these creature eggs is you hatch them. Unfortunately, we don't have the thing that we need to hatch them, but I'm still collecting them as I see them. Make that glass. This is what I worked on for ever to get the moon pool. We have to finally found locations to the mushroom forest. Forest. Oh my goodness! I mean, I looked all over the kelp, the red areas. 
and it was in the mushroom forest. There we go. Now we just need to get the moon pool. Oh, so two titanium ingots. Let's do that first. Easy, easy. In fact, I already have one. And there's the lubricant that we'll need also. So let's grab some more titanium. Might as well grab the lead that I think we're going to need also. Yep. So just got to make the other ingots. Done. Moon pool is ours. Now with the moon pool, we get to make the vehicle bay. And the, and I have the modifications. So what that allows us to do will be to upgrade our Seamoth to a much better depth. That looks like it's off. Yep. Okay. There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Let's go get our Seamoth. Finally recharge it without having to. Welcome aboard, Captain. Nice, nice, nice. All right, what do we need to build this? Computer chip, copper wire. So pretty much all of our copper. And then two table coil and a gold. Okay, I got that actually. Oh, I do not. Okay, let's go get some table coil. Gonna need the trusty knife. Okay. Table coil right here.
haven't scanned one of these yet. Oh, here you go. Bam. Okay. Now, let's finish making this thing. So, one gold, one piece of gold. Bam. Okay, computer chip. Take the copper wire. Okay, so I gotta make some more copper wire. And I need three of those. I also found a creature decoy schematic somewhere. Seamoth, we are going to name it in back. Why not? Yep, we like that. All right, now we need to use the fab fabricator. We need Seamoth upgrades. Okay, that would be extremely good. That is the most important thing. Two glass, titanium. That would be super nice. Eh, that's okay. Not really worried about... I think extra... I mean... No, I'm not too worried about that. I wouldn't mind the storage, though. Okay, so what do we need? First things first. Is we need that. So two glass and titanium. Uh, we're gonna go over to the scanner room. We're gonna have it set. We're gonna set it to quartz. I know that's gonna put a lot of crap up on our display, but we need to find as much quartz as we can get. Okay, let's make sure our inventory is relatively clear. Make that ingot real quick. right now and we need to go get that quartz so let's go do it there's a lot there should be a lot of quartz right next to us but let's take the sea moth all systems online
really do need as much of this stuff as we can get right now. I mean, we just need the quartz. I think that's most of the quartz out of the uh, grass. The rest should be in the caves. I still could use some more though. Looks like there's a cave over here with two of them in it. I think we've got a good amount of quartz now. But that does show you a very easy way to get quartz. Welcome aboard, Captain. If you have the scanning room. Now, what do we need to do? Well, there's quite a bit of things we need to do. One is we need to get to the Aurora. Um, that's probably going to be a two-part video, so we might end up doing that now, or might save that for the next episode. So then, why do we need to go to the Aurora? Well, that's where the prawn suit's at, and we kind of need the prawn suit. Welcome aboard, Captain. But, there is some other stuff that we definitely do need. Um, got the moon pool. I mean, there's... Still need that. I gotta find out where that is at. We have the modification station, which is something that we'll probably make now. More computer chips, jeez. But... We also got Cyclops Hole, Cyclops Bridge. Now we need two more of the engines, and we could make the Cyclops. I mean, yeah, right, but we could. We do not have the drill arm for the prawn. Hopefully, we will find that. That looks about it. Yeah, we really need to go to the Aurora, and we really need to get the rest of that Cyclops. So, maybe we'll finish up doing some of these things. I'll get the modification station. Let's finish up this base real quick. Um, we do need that glass. A titanium ingot. Ooh, 
There we go. Grab that ingot. Thank you. Drop that off. I have both of those. I wonder if I need those for anything. Fabricator. Bam. Yay, now we can finally go... You know what? That's what we should do. We'll go to that life pod that's been sitting there forever. Okay, I need a wiring kit. And I can get the defense system. I have no clue what this does, so we're going to get that too. Okay, need wiring kit and copper wire. Okay, wiring kit is easy. Copper wire, easy. Seek fluid intake. And then need a couple of these. Drive me nuts. Vital signs stabilizing. Pretty much the only other one I want would be this one. Which means every time I bump into things, it doesn't damage the, the sea moth. But having storage would also be really good. Well, let's put on the sonar and see what the hell it does. It just gives topographical information. If it's like if it's like this thing, I don't want it. what the sonar does. Uh. Yeah, doesn't seem like it does anything. I can still run into things. me with caves. I don't know what the hell the sonar does. That's okay. We do want to repair this thing. Yeah, I think bumping into things is more important. What do we need for that? Titanium, lithium, diamond. Got all that. Uh, diamond should be here. Or lithium. And more titanium. Perfect. I'll research and see what that sonar does. Why did I put away? I need that for a moment. 
moment. Uh, oh, let's turn off this scanner. Yes, I like windows. I do like windows a lot. Okay, now let's look at one last thing we want to make here. That is this. Okay, diamond, lead, we have all that. Computer chip. Oof. Do I have two copper left? I do. Table colon, one, two, piece of gold, got it. Diamond and wood, okay. Lead here, diamond here. Probably put the modification over here. And bam. Now, this is where you would upgrade your survival knife to the thermal blade. We can now upgrade our tank, which we will for lithium. No problem. Our fins. We will need some lithium and rubber. So let's go grab that real quick. A lot of lithium. Which I gather quite a quite a bit of. And silicone. I think that was it. Let's check. Okay. Air tank, yep. Bam. Now the other air tank is a lightweight tank. So it wouldn't give us any additional, but it would allow us to move faster. Honestly, I want, I want the other one. <laughs> I want longer air supply. Now the Ultra Glide fins will allow us to move faster. There we go. Now, the other big one. Seamoth upgrades. Depth. So, enameled glass, ply steel ingot, and malachite. I got that. Okay, so... Let's see what we need for the ingot. Titanium ingot and two lithium. Ouch. Well, I did have a lot of lithium. Okay that 
And then there's that. Now we need some of that glass. I think I have a stock or two somewhere around here. Is it in parts? Yep, there it is. Need no more glass. I think I wanted something like that. Let's check it. That's it. So right now, the sea moth can go down to 300. Aboard, Captain. All systems online. Welcome aboard, Captain. Which is what we needed. We needed it to go down to 300. So that way we could Go get to that life pod. But since we are capable, we might as well upgrade it. So that one lets you. I don't know how far that one goes. I don't. They don't tell you how far they go, which is kind of stupid. Should at least tell you. Oh, 500 meters. The other one's going to be 900 meters. Okay. We finally go to life pod 12 it is pretty far out there but we still have a little bit of time left on this video so we might as well let's just prep uh, get rid of that parts Kids. And we don't need the habitat scanner. We might need the laser cutter, and I'm going to take the beacon with me for sure. Now, because we're not going near the Aurora. I'm going to swap to the rebreather. Okay, let's head out. Finally get done with Life Pod 12. Jeez. I mean, how long have we been having that? Now let's check out online. this whole system here real quick. Eh, didn't take any damage. Awesome. Life Pod 12, where are you? We're that away. Now that was a bigger hit than little bump. So I understand. Crap, are we going near the Aurora? Try to get away from it. We'll go around the outside. Oh wow, that's a big rack over here. Definitely tell I have not explored it.
I should probably save. But damn it, I'm tired of those guys trying to push me around. Fuck those little sharks. Oh, uh, oh I know I hadn't been here. There was this fragment. I generally don't leave fragments even if I don't even if I already have them. Ah, one of these little bastards. They're called tiger plants and they should just shoot darts at you. Nothing big. Nothing all that scary. Man, there's radiation as now. Yeah, I should come back here with the helmet. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, shit. Well, good thing we saved right there, huh? I guess I should probably not type in front of a tiger shark or a tiger plant. But I do want to mark that Rex location so that way I can come back to it when I have a helmet. I might just want to go back and get the damn helmet anyways. I hate that you can't combine them. You can't put a rebreather onto a radiation suit. Kind of sucks. takes forever to load in this game. Come on. We were just there. You don't have to load too much. Come on. No, the Aurora is going to take pretty much a ton of time to go through. I've never been in the Aurora, so... I don't know my way around it. I know what's inside of it, the prawn suit. And I think there's like some cosmetic items for the base. Like beds and stuff like that. This is the only thing that I dislike about this game is this loading time is terrible. Alright, let's just set the beacon here. Big. Still don't know how to drive. Yeah, I think that wreck is going to be in the radiation zone, so we might as well go back and get the helmet. I think 
we will probably just call the video here as soon as we get back to the base and then we'll stop by that life pod after we get done with the aurora maybe we'll get to that life pod either next video or the video after that depends on how long the aurora takes Look at all this scrap I could be grabbing I should grab it Those titanium ingots took took a ton of titanium from me. Oh, look at that. Tons of leg. And maybe we'll get to see the uh, Leviathan Reaper when we're out there at the Aurora. so much crap with you. Like, when we go to the Aurora, we're gonna need this re uh, propulsion cannon. Actually, we could actually use the repulse cannon too. But that's fine. We'll use that one. Alright, well, we're gonna end it here. Thank you again. Check out MediocreGamers.com